Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Welcome back to the magical land of Star Wars. In particular, Kashik, I think. Maybe, I don't know, wherever the hell the Wookiees are from. Hello, everybody in chat. Now, if I miss your name, it probably didn't come out because we're having some major technical difficulties here with my chat constantly getting disconnected because my internet is shitting itself right now. Why I can stream, I don't know. Anyway, hello, Jeremy, Alex... Then it crashed. Uh, Emperor Pigeon. Then it crashed again. Destin Pro Zero Sparky. Uh, Lionheart. Volpix Tales. Yohab. And I didn't see anyone else. So there you go. Uh, if I missed you, I'm sorry. It's uh, like I say, it's being a dick. Jwing. Let me swing. Why won't you let me swing? Why am I stuck in combat? There you go. That was weird. Why did he swing so quickly? So anyway, I was at a funeral for several hours today. I've had three hours sleep. I am very fucking tired. So let's get on with this. If I'm not my normal self, that is why. But I'm gonna stream anyway, because whatever I do, what I want. Uh, so we got access to this thing, I think. Like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do now? What do we? What do we do now, Bastila? How can I help? I don't know. Tell me what to do. Uh, let's talk. I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. Maybe you have a viewer called Welcome to the Chat. Yeah, no. Condolences, thank you. It was uh, my my auntie's daughter. What, what, what is that? Niece? Ne no? Niece? I think? It's confusing. Uh, anyway, yeah. Long story. Anyway, I think we both know the real reason you've been watching me. You like my booty. You never give up, do you? You want that ass? I'm interested Cousin in you. Nigo. I find you intriguing, compelling even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You have an awesome command of the Force. And I tremble when I think of how you might misuse it. If you like, I can command my Force all over you and make you tremble and quiver. Baby! Hello, Dan. How's it going? I'll make you tremble. Do you get a little tingly inside, too? What? I, no, of course this not. This is how you not romance a woman. Way. Okay, it works ways, every you time. Are, you are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring untold destruction upon us all. I've seen you give in to temptation and indulge your baser emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. Have you seen my, my face lately? You understand. Look, look at my face. I gave in to the dark side a very long time ago. I almost fought Palpatine here. What do you? I sound drunk. I know it's because I'm tired. I also did drink a little alcohol, but I'm not actually drunk. I'm just very tired. Uh, what are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside. And turns you into a mockery of everything you want. Almost to every word she's saying sounds sexual. Talking about like trembling and twisting you up inside and force and forcing all over you. Like it's just she's a pervert. What's wrong with you, lady? You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Evil! And far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? Get on your knees. And I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you my force powers with my lightsaber. Uh, perhaps it's just reasoning for those acts who die. Are you saying the light is innocent of killing? Yes, are you saying that? One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? to use their own knowledge against them. We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. She's so goody-goody. I hate her so much. Such as? I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. 
But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. Giggity. Okay. What about uh, our good friend Token? You've got something on your mind. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. I don't know oh. where to go or what to do, Jolene. Uh, Carth Strange Stowaway Quest for the Star Forge. You discovered another ancient star map on the sunless surface of Kashik. As before, the map is incomplete, but each map you find fills in more missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully, once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. All right, so I don't know. Like, we, we we did, like, questions for a robot dude here. Like, what did you give me access to? Oh, the star map is right there. Fucking hell. Didn't realize that. That's embarrassing. What are you doing, man? Best of the move, your stupid, thick, thick, delicious, creamy ass. No, seriously, move, lady. You're blocking me in. Okay, yes. we're going to manually move a bastard la. There you go. You as well. Sure. Token. All right, stay there. Goddamn imbeciles. There we go. Oh yeah, we do need Wookie, don't we? I think. God. God damn it, it doesn't do anything. Why does it do anything? What the shit game? Alright, let's click it and not touch anything. I was thinking maybe it just took a while. Okay. Um. Yeah, Alright, so... Did you talk to the map already? Maybe? Well, I don't know. I didn't think I did. Uh, the injured Wookiee... Grrr, it just sounds like a noise they make. Hunting party was attacked by a camouflage outside. He would reward you for killing the leader of the group. They found bodies a short way southwest. Blah, 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 blah. The outsiders only appeared once. Grrr, this group had been put their weapons away. Obviously, one in an arcade. So maybe the only way to finish... <laughs> what? You don't need the map anymore, you already have it. Oh, okay. See, this I wasn't clear on. So, are we, are we done on Kashyyyk then? Other than the quest here. Like, we've got the map. I think we could leave. What the shit? Stop trying to be in combat with mines. It's weird. So, computer, swoop of X. I have absolutely no idea where I should be going. Hello, Minecraft. Hey, is the stream working for you guys? It should be, yes. Certainly hope so. Can someone uh, tell them to, like, refresh or something? Mandalorian swoops. Have we been here? The swoop bike is still warm to the touch. There is a signal device on it. However, it contains no fuel that data to transmit. Okay. Again, I'm very tired. Swoop bike shows signs of recent use as it is missing its signal device. One of the Mandalorians must have taken it to collect data. Do nothing. Why am I doing nothing? Do we need... Do we need our Mandalorian with us? Do we need the Wookiee? Go to the Outcast Wookiee again. See, yeah. I know we have to do that. Problem is, I can't remember where on earth I found him. Like, man, I cannot remember. Uh... Freya. Freya? It's been, you know, a better part of a week since the last time I played this. My memory is shit, and I'm really tired. So, you know, you combine all that, and, like, I got no idea where he is. Basically. Bad memory, tired, week ago, yeah. Um, yes, we're just gonna look around, see if we can find him, unless someone gives me directions, and then I'll try and follow him. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go on a random wander and swing my things. Swing, 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 swing. Dude, my shoulder is killing me. Like, during the, uh, what do you call it? Like, you know, when people are saying things about the deceased in the church chapel thingy? During that, I had, like, no elbow room on either side of me. My sister was on one side, and this, like, old deer was on the other side. And, you know, I didn't want to, like, elbow the old deer in the face and knock her the fuck out or something. So, I and I have broad shoulders, even though I'm not the tallest man on earth, but i got broad shoulders. So, I'm like, basically, I've pretty much got my arms between my legs so that I can actually, you know, fit. I, it was, it was, like, my shoulder is killing me now. Jason, have you ever ridden a horse? In real life, no. In video games, many times. Many, many times. Bum, bum, bum. Is that him? That looks like a Wookiee, right? That's gotta be him. That's Freya. Are you the outcast, Wookie? I can't remember. Y'all look alike to me. More of you, Suzerka Core Rats, is even the heart of Kashyyyk not free from your He's kind? Feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Freya. I will put you down. Friends, don't you remember me? 
After years in the Shadowlands, I remember only the outsiders are not to be trusted. I'll see you dead. Well, this may prove difficult. Oh, fucking balls. He's lost his mind, he has. Let's drain his life. Then we'll boomerang our lights. Oh, never mind, we won't. Alright, let's just cut him the fuck up. Oh, that was loud. Why is the combat so loud? Jesus, God, hang on. Sound effects, you're going down. Oh, I can do really. Yeah, get clobbered, son. Oh damn. Can I can I like, force jump him if I move away? I want to force jump him. All right, he came after me. He just wiped them out. Oh shit. You win this round, sir. You win. Oh god, that's bad. Okay, I think we might die here. I think we might die. Where am I? I should use my energy shield. I didn't know it was gonna be this tight. I didn't know it was gonna attack me. What a dick. Where are my healing things? There you are. You little know, scamp. Let's do that. Oh, we can't. Yes, we won't then. Yeah, we're, uh... We're straight fucking dead. Alright, well... You know... That's uh, a thing. Uh, okay. Refresh the stream, Minecraft. There you go. Hopefully he can see that. Alright. Speaking of seeing things, that was weird. Why did... What? Why is it popping up? I guess it's, it only shows weird. Weird. Okay, whatever. Right, so we need to prepare a little better for this. I'm here. You need to be healed. Let's use this. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. Do we have a stun grenade or something? I don't know. Let's save. Let's use some drugs. It's always a good idea to use drugs. Where are my drugs? I have no idea. Bum 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 bum. All right, let's try that. Hello, you're a Wookiee. Wookiee, Wookiee, Wookiee! Okay, frag grenade, concussion grenade. Let's try a concussion. And then we'll try drain life after that. No, let's do this and then do drain life and then do more of this. By that point, we should need a heal. We have concussed the bastard. Lightsaber the shit out of him, you fools. Get drained, son. Oh my god, he's destroying everybody. I, I am beaten! Take my head, Suzuka Filth! You won't get another chance to swears a Freya of Gashik! <laughs> Chanda sends his regards! Now die! Did we come this far only to kill this old wook? Fuck yeah, we did. I don't approve of this at all. I don't care what you approve of. Back in line, I'm in charge here. Hold your tongue, child. I'm not challenging you. I just thought you'd have the smarts to consider every option. Seems simple to be. It's time to die, Freya. Mm. Then let my blood feed my beloved Kashik. Oh, it's gonna feed her all right. Stasis. Stasis him. All right, and then we cut the crap out of you. We do another drain life, and then we slash what? you. Dark side points gain. Beautiful. Oh, you're back up. Wonder if I can get you to cure in time. Let's let's just try it. Probably not. She's probably just gonna die. Well, he's down. Bollocks. Trying to drain life again. Okay, okay, he's dying. This is good. This is good. This is beautiful. I like it. Get club it, son. Okay, we've got him. Don't worry. There's no way he's winning this fight. Get wrecked. Bum, bum, ba dum, bum, ba bum, 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 ba da ba dum, bum, 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 ba da ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum, bum, ba dum. Sorry, I had to do that. All right, so. Can I loot the Wookiee? It doesn't look like we can. Well, what a piece of shit. It was a monkey. Yeah, you are. You saw nothing. All right. Come back and kill you two, you monkey bastards. Hmm, yeah, we can't seem to loot him. Well, that's depressing. Okay, anyway, so we murdered that bastard. Chieftain in need. You have killed the Wookiee, Freya, as Chieftain Chanda asks, return to him for your reward. Your eternal reward. Cool. Uh, so let's go back to that guy. I cannot remember how the hell to get out of here. Uh, upper Shadowlands, probably. Ritual Marquee. We don't need to go there. We need to go to the Upper Shadowlands. We need to go this way and then this way, I think. All right, take it easy, Minecraft. I apologize that the stream was not working for you. I have no idea why, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why nothing's working for me either. So, you know, welcome to my what? Who is this? Who are you? Who's this bloody Wookiee? Hang on a minute. Oh, this is Grrrr! Okay. Are you the outcome? You return, have you found them? Did you kill them all? They were animals in armor, with no honor among them. 
No, get back here. I'm not going to bother with this. Okay, we haven't done what you wanted. You wanted us to kill people? Where was this quest? A Wookiee Lost. Was this the one? No, it was like, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, this thing. Okay. So this is the Wookiee that we helped. So we're actually doing a good a good guy thing here. Look, I don't know why I like this Wookiee. I do. Um, it would reward you for killing the leader of the group. They found bodies a short way southwest and then further... S okay, southwest. Southwest. I kind of can't be asked. It's like, it's, uh, it's just such a trick. Southway. But it could be anywhere, man. It's got to have something to do with the swoop bikes, right? Surely. I feel like it's, I don't know. Fuck it. We already saved you. I shouldn't help you twice. Hello, Josh. Does this game look like crap without the mod? Um, It runs in like a weird resolution without the mod. So yes. To that, to that end, yes. Remember Jason's evil. This is true. This is true. How do you do the spinny thing? You press cross. And then he swings his weapon. Like so. Yes. You can do it on everyone. Swing. I'm here. Shwing. Shwing. There you go. Sure. Sure. I'm here. Yeah. I thought... Wasn't she supposed to not be dual wielding? I swear I took one of her lightsabers away. Why has she got two of them? I swear I took one away. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to go back to the chieftain. Apparently we haven't been down there. Jolie, Jolene, Jolene. Bask it up. I can't remember where we're going. I am lost as shit. Where can we return to? We can't return to anywhere. Alright, I guess we're just going for a long walk then. Our achievements disabled with the 1080p mod. I have no idea. I never pay any attention to um, achievements in video games. Well, not never, but almost never. Like, I very rarely give a shit about achievements, so I haven't been paying attention. The game is so old, I doubt it even had the Steam achievements, to be honest. Achievements are for achievers, exactly. What do you think I am? Sit on my ass playing video games. Ain't no goddamn achiever, it's so over here. I've Jolene, like, really stuck in my head. You may notice that's a thing that happens to me. It's part of OCD, getting things, you know, repetitively, stu repetitively stuck in your head. Why is there a dead wookie wookie wookie? don't know. Were you the body we were supposed to find earlier? I don't know. Because we did find one. A rubble. And I loot the rubble. Nope. Where are your rubble friends now? Get it. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. We'll go to the bar. Oh, bollocks. I hit a button. I don't know where I am now. I've fallen and I can't get up. You like achievements sometimes. It's very rare. Like... Unless it's a game I'm really, really, really into, and the achievements are, like, not a bunch of bollocks, where they're like, you've played for 20 hours, have an achievement, or you saw the ending, have an achievement. If, like, Binding Isaac, I did it because you basically need to anyway to unlock a bunch of stuff in the game and what have you, so. Other than that, I think, like, Rogue Legacy is one of the few other ones. Apparently, you know, um, uh, roguelikes are a thing. <laughs> The spies of Chandar have followed you as closely as possible, Darth Sito. They tell me you have killed the Mad Claw. The Mad Claw was Freya, Chandar's father. There's no one I could say outside her. I serve Chandra and no other. Take me up. I will take you directly to him. He's wearing in the throne room. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the ball. Buy me some peanuts and peanut jacks. Peanuts and peanuts and peanuts. Well, my mercenary returns. My climbers tell me you did well, Darth Sito, although they could not follow you the whole time. Chandal told me who the Mad Claw was. Have you done it then? Have you killed my father? Join the dark side. Never! Uh, Freya was your father. I didn't know that. I did know that. Yes, it had to be done. Move forward. I butchered him. Is there a problem? We're going to go with that. Or with me, and I doubt Zalabar will give you any trouble for it. He's coming around my way of thinking. That's a good boy. I've been reminded of how Freya cast me out. I can see how easily he has disposed of himself. We are stronger without him. Chandar's way is better. Of course it is. I will make our people strong with outsider weapons and influence, and for you, I shall see that your status is restored in due time. Will I be rewarded for my efforts slaying your father? I will see to whether you are given what you deserve. Finish with your questions and we will settle our accounts. Let's go back to my other questions then. Uh, will Zalabar have a place, I guess? Yes, in time. I will need to construct a reason for his glorious return. Glorious! Until then, 
I think you should accompany you. I would prefer that. There is nothing here for me. You have shown me that. So you have, Darth Sito. Yes, yes. You have realized the truth. We will all move forward and... For now, Bucks, it would be better if you left. Go back to my other questions. What about... I would like to talk about what I saw in the Shadowlands. Yes, my spies said you found some interesting things down there remarkable for an outsider. Oh, I saw a lot of stuff. A lot of shit. Uh, I saw an ancient computer of some kind. Did you? You were out of sight from my spies for a long time. Perhaps it was some crashed ship. It's been there since before the forest, you bloody idiot. Now I think you are just making things up. Nothing is older than the forest, not even the Wookiees. Oh, you're wrong on that count, actually. Tell him. Not Hold Tony. I expect you to know that. We've gone off this, don't know. I might send someone to try and find this ancient computer, but I think you're mistaken. Crazy outsider. Crazy, crazy. Back to my Shellands questions, all right? The Mandalorian hunt is very advanced. My spies weren't too clear in explaining what was going on. I hear they could blend against the background of the forest. Interesting. I will have my best Wookiees examine the corpses. I'll keep this noise to myself, I think. The Zerka need to know more questions. More questions. I found a hermit. It's the black guy with me. So the insane outsiders are interesting. I trust you are removing him. I'd hate to see him come to well, harm. Save your threats. I'm sick of the forest. And I'm not too fond of what happened here. Hello, Dad. I'll take the ride. You just got home, why am I streaming so early? Because I had a funeral today, so I'm awake. And man, I'm going to be, like, exhausted by 8 o'clock, which is normally when I start, so we're doing it early. Uh, I think we- I don't think we need to go through any of this, I think we're done. Yes, I think it is, but what should I reward you with? I wonder if you know the magnitude of what you have done here. You've made certain I cannot be challenged with Threa gone. There is nobody to whine about the old traditions. Everyone believes in my way. Even Zalabar will lead the Wookiee people to a great future safely under my thumb. What should be the reward, brother? What will be your reward for joining me? You've shown me how useless our traditions are, so what is there to want? I'll take Baka's sword. At least it's still useful in combat. Shut up, Wookiee. I'm bargaining. I can saw another house. My, my. Best to give an angry Wookiee his due, I'd say. Team Zalabar has made up his mind, I agree. The sword has lost its influence here. Removing it from Kashyyyk will kill the old ways completely. The only problem is that I only have the hilt of the thing. The blade was lost in the Shadowlands long ago. I apparently have the blade. I don't know how. You are full of surprises. Let me see. This should be a simple matter. Yes, I think that we go. Take it, Thomas, in the hands of an exile. And outside of Freya was the true force behind it. And the new guardians will forget him quickly. You've seen to that. Oh, yes. Far better to have both the blade and a possible rival as far from Kashyyyk as possible, eh? I feel very tired of this place now. What's that random guy have a say? But he's a Jedi. You are free to leave with my brother, Mad Hermit. Nothing compels you to remain. Right you are. I think I'll do just that. That finishes our business. Take care, Zalabar. We'll welcome you back someday when I decide the people are ready, not before. Don't worry, brother. I know your way is the best, but it's the only way our people will survive in a galaxy full of outsider lies. And you, outsider, you'll understand why I don't invite you to stay. The uncontested ruler of Kashyyyk will not abide troublemakers. No matter how helpful they may have been, goodbye. Dark side points. Items received. Items long experience. Okay, cool. This makes me happy. So we're going to take these two morons. This seems like a good, uh, a good thing. You sure? Yes. Fuck yes, man. All right, can we leave this hellhole now? I know we have like one or two more quests here, but none of them seem particularly interesting. Level up skills. Persuasion. Okay. Powers. Uh, what are we getting here? Austin. Powers. Universal power requires lightsaber. What is it? Advanced through lightsaber. Oh, well. oh, la di da. Uh, there was one that someone... I can't remember. Is there a force choke? Does anyone know? I want a force choke. See if any of these say anything about force push. Ooh. Force wave. I want to choke someone. Aura, fear, plague, affliction, slow, kill, wound. Choke. Oh! This power constricts the throat of a target. Okay, we're getting force choke. I don't even care, man. I don't even care. Give me that shit. Oh, I don't have the prerequisites. Bollocks. So we're going to get wound. Sounds boring. This power triggers spasms in the victim's lungs. I mean, okay, that sounds pretty cool. Cool, we're going to get that. And then we're going to get force choke. Hello, Finian. How's it going? Except. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. All together now. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. 
Am I annoying? I hope so. I'm here. All right. Heal. Yes. Heal. What? Yes. Heal. Mm. What? Fucking yes. heal, you useless bitch. You need. Heal. There you go. We're what? all healed up with no place to go. Zwing, 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 zwing. All right, we're not going to do that whole thing. Let's make a save. I'm like, I'm too tired and like slightly tipsy to the point where like, I just don't give a shit right now. I just, I just don't give a shit. The Star Wars nerds want to come at me and be like, I'm again. You're the most annoying YouTuber I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. It's like, yeah, I bet you're fucking subscribed to PewDiePie. You, you fucking... You, what's the word for someone who like you contradictory bastard anyway um the great walk away that's lovely let's check our quest real quick uh just because you know this plant might get blown up when we leave or something jason why are you such an evil bastard i don't know it's fun hidden hunters see i want to kind of want to do that but that's like a good quest candorous fuck him honest death. the merchant eli gan is uh i don't think that oh no hang on left kashik under cover of night to avoid paying a repair debt to eli standard business practice it seems Yes, yeah, that guy. I remember. I remember. He's near the beginning, and he's essentially got this guy as like a servant. So they left Kashik. So they're probably on another planet, I guess. Where's for the Star Forge, Basler. All right. So, yeah, actually, I think this is only really this the, the the only real quest that we can do at the moment. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Thank you. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. Like honestly, sometimes hello morbid. Sometimes when uh, when I get like one of those comments, it's like, "Hey, my God, you're so annoying." So like, I'll click on them and see who they're subscribed to. I swear to God, they're always subscribed to like really fucking obnoxious YouTubers, and I'm like, and I'm the one that you, you think is like really annoying. Like they're the sort of people that are like, "Oh my God, fucking, I'm fucking shit, fucking fuck shit, fucking fucking fuck fuck." Oh my God, I'm Markiplier. Let me just get a bottle. Where's, where's my, do I have an empty bottle? I don't have an empty bottle. Pretend. Let me let me hit myself on the head with a bottle because I'm Markiplier. I'm like a 35 year old man that acts like he's fucking 12. Anyway, um, I'm gonna say we're done on this planet for now. So yeah, how do we leave? Can we get to the Ethan Hawk? No, we can't. How do I leave? I don't know how to leave. I just want to leave. How do I leave? Fire station. Is it this way? Probably to the dock. Yeah, let's go to the dock. The YouTube recommended you to them says something. Uh, m maybe? No, it's. I don't think it's even necessarily that. I think it's more often than not like they'll go like for example, say like a new game comes out or whatever. So they'll go and look up footage of the new game, right? And because mine's usually in one of the top fucking things, so they'll be like, "Oh, let's click on this video," and then I'll say something, and it's probably just one thing that I've said, and they're like. It's probably not even necessarily that I'm a particularly annoying person most of the time. You know, like, not really that... I'm not really that loud or obnoxious, usually. I, I kind of am right now, because, again, I don't really give a shit right now. But, normally, I don't think I'm that bad. Except, you know, compared to... Here's the fucking thing that gets me, right? And this this does annoy me. This actually annoys the shit out of me. Why is there a dead dude here? Who killed you? And why are you just... Who, why has no one cleaned up the body? I think we already looted this. Did I kill you? I don't know. Here's one thing that does annoy me. If you go back on my old, specific my old Dark Souls videos, right? The ones where I'm like hyper as shit and I am obnoxious as fuck in those videos. Like, I am full on obnoxious. Obnoxious. Those videos, nothing but thumbs up. No negative comments. Fucking what? Forgive me for the intrusion, human. My name is Seni Vec. I believe you dropped this data pad and I wish to return it to you. What is this? Some kind of goddamn con? No, this is no game. I simply saw you drop this data pad and I wish to give it back to you. It's a bomb, isn't it? It's gonna be a goddamn bomb. I'll take it. My pleasure, human. You should examine it to make sure it is not broken. Goodbye, human. We got a data pad. Okay. Geno Hard, Geno Hard, Haradan, uh, a Twilight, Twilight, whatever, named Seni Vec has given you a data pad. He claims you dropped on the data pad is a cryptic message. The Geno Haradan say to see Hulas on Manan. Come alone or not at all. So Manan has to be a planet. Okay, sure. Fair enough. I am going the wrong way because the game has spun me around in a circle. Thank you. Always bloody confusing. We are going this way, right? 
Yes. The Zerker Dock. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's the one that annoys me the most. Is like, on my old videos where I am straight up full-on obnoxious. Nothing but, but comments being like, You're the funniest guy on earth! Holy shit, you're hilarious! Thumbs up, almost no thumbs down. But no, if I say one thing these days... One fucking thing. There's always like a bunch of comments like, I'm a guy. You're so fucking obnoxious tonight. I'm a guy. Let me go watch Peter Pan instead, because he's totally cool. I'm going to go watch that fucking, like, blonde motherfucker that found the body in the forest as well, because he's totally not obnoxious, is he? At least you changed on like Peter Pan. See, Peter Pan is not really bad anymore. Hang on, I'll go over there, man. I welcome you back to Zerk Corporation. We'd like to extend its thanks for, to you for representing its interests so thoroughly. You're welcome, you widow. Chandar is very interested in furthering our exchange of labor for weapons. We've begun expanding our operations, as I'm sure you've seen. Okay, so let me go over this. This is the thing. Peter Pan has changed quite a lot, actually, because you got to think about it. He got famous doing like, oh my god, this is the scariest game ever. Oh, I'm screaming like a girl. Oh, it's terrifying. He doesn't do that anymore. He does like meme videos and like reacting to other YouTubers and shit like that. Like, and he's generally pretty chill comparatively in his videos compared to the way he was. He's not really shouting and screaming like he used to be. I don't think PewDiePie is that bad anymore. But my point is, the people that will call me out and be like, holy shit, you're super annoying, they'll be subscribed to, like, Jacksepticeye and stuff like that. And I like Jacksepticeye, I have nothing against the guy. But how can you possibly think I'm loud and obnoxious and then go and watch Jacksepticeye? Literally, the guy's like, what are you? Top of the world, yeah, my name's Jacksepticeye. Why don't you fucking Irish? What are this game? Oh, it's the best fucking game we've ever played in my life. We're going to be playing Carbon Space Program. Oh my god, I'm going to kill my Carbon into my fucking space and I'm going to blow up it all. Oh my god, I'm going blow up in the fucking moon. Like... Really? Anyway, hello, the man. How's it going? You like Dark Souls, Jason, though? He's funny as fuck. What do you mean, Dark Souls, Jason? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's not my concern. I don't give a shit. What are you telling me? It was the gentle outcome possible. Or gentlest. I'm, so, I'm sure that everyone will come to see this in time. What are your plans for Kashyyyk? The Zerg Corporation will begin an extensive examination of the commercial potential of this world. The Wookiees will aid us in this. I'm certain there are ample resources for us to export. I doubt we will encounter much more resistance. We'll be here for quite some time. I need supplies. What do you have available? The Zerg Corporation maintains a well-stocked armory on load for general goods. You will need to speak with a vendor in the docking area. And I know I always use Jack Septicai as an example. It's just because he's the hi most hyper person I know. And so I'm just saying, like, I got nothing against Jack Septicai. But how the fuck could you watch someone who is that hyper and then like, I, me, I think I'm pretty chill comparatively. And then they're like, oh my God, you're so fucking annoying. I'm like, really? Like, am I though? Like, am I? Hello, hello, bad beauty. How's it going? Both and stun the stun. I don't know. Yeah, this crap. This stuff all sucks. Shove it up your ass. Shove it your ass, you stupid alien bastard. Hello, who are you? Local fauna is amazing. If I could isolate why the trees grow so big. It would be worth more than a thousand Wookiee slaves. God, you boring human being. Okay, so. The Ethan Hawk is over there. The Great Walker. Let's go the Ethan Hawk then. Fuck it. I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. I do it well. It's this way. Wasn't this the guy that had... Yeah. What do you want now? How can I help? Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I don't I know why I clicked on others. Especially one who is strong in the force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus proved that the force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the force is involved. Is that not enough for you? I don't even know how we got into this topic of like these YouTube comments. But man, like stupid YouTube comments drive me up the fucking wall. Uh, if the Force wants us to be together, why do we keep resisting my undeniable charms? Yes, that's the I way again, Opens. We brought together for our mission to stop Malak. I hardly think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please try to stay focused. I doubt the Council would approve. I am focused. Be discussing our mutual on dad ass. Should be saving the galaxy from Malak. On 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 dad on dad ass. Uh, mutual attraction? I knew you were interested in me. I'm not gonna stop. It's I'm gonna keep flirting with her. Whatever our feelings... I mean, whatever your feelings... It's bordering on sexual harassment now. Don't let this complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating the Starforge and defeating Malak. 
The council explained all this quite clearly. You know, I bet you could do some interesting stuff with a lightsaber in the bedroom. It just seems odd they would send me off without a master. The guy, we just don't trust the council and the motive, and that's it. There's enough reason for you to accept. I don't trust the council. I admit, there were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the council to test my own abilities. Hello, Jesse. How's work, my dear? I get the feeling that there's more going on than I know. I wondered if the council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. So you want to be a master of Pokemon? Have you got the skills to be number one? I'm still not convinced. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. That's cool, Jessica. Let's go back to the mission. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much Shut to be done. Damn face. All right, shut your damn face where are we going where is the ethan hawk it is this way yes so anyway this is the guy who has the slave majiga like if we go this one the merchant eli gand is holding a matin dessel as an indentured servant why am i reading so slow i don't know the matin's crew apparently left kashik under cover of night to avoid paying a repair debt to eli standard business practice it seems so yeah Matten's crew. I, did, I guess they're on another planet. I don't know. Let's see what else you have to say. I'll never get valued until you can't pay. Watch your credits. You hurt me, Matten. It's the debt of your crew that keeps you here, not me. Huh. Yeah, we already asked him this about, like, do you always enslave your debt? I know we did. Enslave? Enslave? You think you know something? Can I buy him? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skill. Yeah, we asked this as well. Oh, <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of he'll be free to go when his friends turn up. Yeah, so we need to find find his uh, his crew. Can I sell some of his? No, that sounds like a good guy thing. Uh... Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point. Besides. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just assume they're on another planet, I don't know. So, I, I think we're done on uh, Wookie Island for now, so let's just leave. Let's just leave. You got your braces took off, thankfully. Nice. I probably could use some. I got a couple of teeth that are, you know, not exactly straight. Uh, but we never did that. Because, uh, I don't know. Probably should have done. Alright, so how do I board you? Get out of the way. Get out of the goddamn way. Probably the ramp. Dong, 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 dong. Hey, there we go. So we still have a stowaway situation to deal with. Didn't we find out where her parents or whatever are from? Let's check this. Uh, Mandalorians, blah, 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 blah. Dantooine, okay. I'm assuming we can travel back to Dantooine. I'm kind of tempted to try that now. Where's the cockpit? Probably there, yes. Of course it is. Hello, guys. How's it going, man? How are things? Sasha. That's her name, it's Sasha. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Yeah, I have no idea how I even got into that rant about, like, stupid YouTube comments. But I did. Like, I, that's the thing. I don't mind people finding me annoying. That's cool, right? Like, you're into what you're into. But when, when, when they say that and then I see them, like, subscribe to people that are actually obnoxious as shit, I'm like, dude, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, if you were listening to everyone that's like, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we're going to be talking to Karth. And then we're going to talk to Bastila. And we're going to be a goody goody. And we're not going to say or do anything wrong. We're never going to swear. We're never going to raise our voice. It's all going to be nice and calm. It's going to be like ASMR. If you're watching people like that, cool. But when I click on your name, because you shit talked to me in a YouTube comment. And all I see is like, like, you know the sort of people that with their thumbnail is like their face screaming. And it's like, oh my god, like clickbait shit. And like you click and I click on one of the videos, so like I'm like, okay, let's see, like me and they're like just obnoxious as fuck. And I'm like, 
and you're calling me out, but you're subscribed to people like that? Like, what is... I, just, I don't understand some people. Like, just have some bloody consistency. All right, galaxy map. Uh, let's try going Dantooine. How do I do this again? Isn't there like a picture? Oh, yeah, these things. Dantooine, where the balls are you? To Dantooine! Boop! Bum, bum, ba-dum, bum, ba-dum. ASMR is so bad it makes you want to punch a baby. I mean, you know, people are into it. Hey, my thing. Things well, just came back from walking your dog. You find it very relaxing. He was also really happy, so we win. Nice, I wish I had a dog. Why are we watching this cutscene? We've already been to Dent. Incoming fighters! Uh, we have been to Dantooine, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, because we, uh, there's Dantooine and Tatooine. I know we haven't been to Tatooine. I guess we just got attacked by, God, it's so slow to move. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to shoot these dudes, I guess. Bum, bum, bam, bam. I guess it's probably a random event that can happen or whatever when you're going between planets. I shouldn't have skipped the cutscene, I suppose. Hopefully there was nothing important there. I'm sure if there was, someone will tell me. I cannot hear this godforsaken thing in the distance. Why? Eh. Eh. Oh god, it's so blinding. Hello? Hello? Oh, there's one. Direct sun. Who's shooting me? Jesus, guys, like, drag the mouse. Oh, come on. That was on target. I feel ripped off. Well, this is, uh... This is the most tame fight I've ever been in. Oh, no! Yeah. Yay, we got him. I'm happy now. Okay, cool. Cool, we did it. Where did that pop up? Okay, that's weird. I don't like that. It pops up, like... When the cutscenes activate. Strange. It's the Sith, probably, yeah. I d apparently they didn't get the memo that I am Darth Sito. I am one of you, leave me alone. You have a map with red dots for the fighters. Didn't realize that. This is where you keep, we keep you around, Dan. You, you have good advice. Good old Dan. Dan the man. That's what they call him, they call him Dan the man. Exclusive rhymes for the most part. I don't skip the cutscene in case something else happens. I don't think it will, but you know. Oh, I made an accent command as well, by the way. But when that shit inevitably comes up, because it comes up all of the time. All of the fucking time. Zwing, bitch. Alright, so, let, what, what do we know about this, this, this child's parents? Uh, blah, 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 blah. One held by Mandalorians long enough to learn their speech. Her original home seems to be Dantooine. Perhaps someone there could help. So, uh, maybe we want to go talk to her now and see if she knows anything now that we are on Dantooine. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Bum, bum. Oh yeah, I also changed it so that uh, only subs uh, and above, obviously, the mods, etc. count. Um, can post links. So if you are not a sub, you will have to request the posting of a link because we had a couple of spam bots coming here posting links. Mucha shaka paka. Mucha shaka paka to you two. Does the name Lur Arka ring a bell? What about Rundil or Sulem? Girl looks at you quizzically, not understanding. You bloody suck. All right. Mut Let's see if we can figure out. I mean. <laughs> I mean, there's probably just some people around. Probably quite close, in fact, where we could just be like, Yo! I suppose you know anything about a little girl who speaks like a weird... You know, weird, weird, strange, not okay language. What is this? Engine room. Why are we going to the engine? What are you doing, man? It's not how you get off the ship. It's a bloody engine room. How do we leave? Cargo hold. Crew quarters. Hangar. Can't remember how to leave. Oh, the exit ramp. Of course, that makes sense. It would be the exit ramp. Who's a Zalabar? Yes, you are. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. So we are going to take Bastelar. We'll take the Mandalorian because Mandalorians, right? Like, he knows some Mandalorians, so maybe he can help. Even though he was friggin' useless on the ship when I tried. I bet this person can help. Good also, dad ass. Excuse job, me, please, I know it's been a really long time, dear, but aren't you Bastelar? Helen's little girl. Yes, it is you. I can see it in the eyes, my how you've grown. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bastila, sorry. 
Wanga kum kiba bu mule rag kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Yes, I went for your father on an expedition years ago. Your mother showed me holos, holos, I guess, of you before you. Something I can do for you, miss. As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Give me a break. She's right, we don't have time for this shit. Oh, I didn't mean to take up your time. I just wanted to ask you if your mother's condition has improved any since I saw her. Oh, you, you don't know? Oh, dear, I just thought... I assumed she had found you when I talked to her last. She was desperate to find you. You have a great alien rack, you know, Ron. I'm sorry, dear, but your mother is very ill, so she told me. She didn't say anything about your father, however, I didn't see him. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? So her in Tatooine, dear. She said she'd been there for a while. Maybe she's still there. We're gonna go to Tatooine. I mean, what's this all about? Seems my mother's been looking for me. We're going there eventually, anyway. Should we get the opportunity? Could we look for her on Tatooine? All right, fine, I'll do it. Yeah, I thought you didn't get along. We never did. I am interested in hearing about my father, however. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she is really sick, well, we shall see. By the way, Kenderis, you look absolutely ridiculous. Like, who dressed you like this? Who did it? Is one of our last Tatooine! Hello. Greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? Go on. I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundil Otsulam. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. I, I'm, yeah, I'm putting two and two together here. His young daughter was kidnapped. Yeah, there you go. By those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. Well, what do you know? Yes, I do. Is there a reward? I wish there were sentient, for the possibility of a reward would certainly make my search much easier. Since his daughter's kidnapping, however, the human says, Oh, I remember asking him this exact question. Yeah. This seems like a good guy thing to do, but maybe we can do a bad guy option. So I'm going to go with it for now. Uh, there is a stowaway on my ship by the name of Sasha. This is the most exciting news, Sentient. Are you certain of this? Yes. You can come on board if you like. And then we thwack him over the head and murder him. And rob him. I do not make it a habit of to board a vessel of strange humans, but, but I might make an exception for this one. Are you certain the human is Sasha? Yes, I'm certain. She only speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. You've convinced me, Sentient. Uh, that your story is indeed the one I seek. Would you allow me to see her? Certainly, I'll bring you to my ship. <laughs> Let's go there now. I'm most anxious to see her. Smithers, dismember the corpse and send the widow a ham. Though you have age, young sentient, I do believe you are indeed the one I seek. I am here to return you to your father. I see that Darth Cedar was correct about your linguistic difficulties. I am positive that your parents could assist you with that. Calm yourself, child. I will take you home. And yes, that was a Final Fantasy X reference. For those of you that were paying attention, I was quoting the Albed. They say Akumala at the start of the game. You are welcome. Story time with Jason. Uh, I'm going to say this, bollocks. Loaka Nabads. Nugishin. Lacefar, Sasha. Yes, Beef King. Thank you for your assistance, Sentian. I'm sure the girl's parents will be most appreciative of your efforts. Light side points! Yeah, reload. Bum, bum, ba dum, bum, ba dum, bum, bum, ba ba, ha 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 ha, Alex, ba bum, bum, ba bum, bum, bum. Okay, so quick save. There's 724. Oh, look. Bollocks, this one's, this one's, this one's ruined. Where are we? Are we on Dan to bloody in? I don't know, I don't know where we are. Fucking shit. Okay, well, I guess, I guess we're gonna go do that again. I don't think there is a dark side. Oh. What do I do with her? Do I just leave her here? Or just, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendra, she looks stupid. Do we just leave her? Like, on my ship? It seems very odd. It seems very, very odd. Take, uh... 
Take Jolene, Jolene, Jolene with me again. You have to go, you will return soon. Okay, Tony. What the shit we're here? God friggin' damn it. I haven't even got did I gotta do the space valley? Really? Oh bloody hell. Alright, well uh That sucks. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for that. I thought I'd saved it recently, apparently I had I thought, you know, maybe the autosave would uh would kick in, but no. Take the light and kick some puppies later. I mean, I could. Or I could just leave her on my ship, I suppose. Alright, so let's just hope that this is a random event that doesn't happen again. Because I'd rather not have to do that stupid space battle if we don't have to. Because I'm not trying to be a dick. It's like total wank. It was not a good space battle. It was quite shit. Combat is certainly not this game's strong point. It's definitely not the game's forte. So watch the cutscene this time, see if we missed anything. My guess is it's just a generic you're flying between planets cutscene, but just in case we'll leave it. Just in case. Okay, nothing. Cool. But we are being attacked, it would seem. Maybe this one's different? Yeah, we definitely haven't seen this one. But we know what's gonna happen. We're gonna awkwardly drag the mouse. And shoot down the thing. At least we know there's a map now as well. Where is this map? Incoming fighters. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, right, right. That's cool. Direct sun. Hey, there we go. Okay, well, one. Oh, there's one now. A little hard from this distance. Not gonna lie to you. I mean, I could lie to you. I'm not going to. What? The... What? Ah, suck it. Go lean, jewel it. God, it's so bright, man. Almost like I'm staring to the face of the sun or something. There's like three more dudes left. No problem. I can't aim down anymore. That could be a problem. Why won't you die? Like, God's sake, just perish. All right, remind me to save after this one. Get wrecked. Another one coming along here. Get wrecked. There we go. And then the final bastards. Suck it. Yeah, we did it with the greatest space pilot of all time. Did I see this cutscene? I feel like I probably did. Yeah, let's assume so. Oh, hang on. Maybe something important happened. Nope. Okay. At least we know now. Combat might be real time, but it plays best as a turn-based RPG. You can press it. Yeah, you can pause it. I know. Probably should try it like that. I don't know. It's just, it's just us. It's just like really bad. Uh, the rest of the game is good though. Well, the characters and dialogue and stuff like that. That's good. The level design is like shockingly bad as well, to be fair. Alright, so let's open up the map. Knock, knock, open up the door. It's real. It's a non stop pop up set. Make sure you're safe, for Christ's sake, man. There we go. Shh. Shut up, Candorous, before you even say it. We'll take you and we'll take a you. Oh, god damn it. I didn't click add. There you go. The music really reminds me of Final Fantasy 8. You know the music there is like doot, 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 that bit. Alright, so you're going to talk about her mother, and we just go through the dialogue really quick. Blah, 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 hurry up, shut your face. Uh, Bass is right, we don't have time. Let's try and pick the same options. What's this all about? Uh, I thought you didn't get along. Cool, alright, that's done. And then this fella was the guy. Go ahead. Is there a reward? Alright, we know that. There's a stowaway in my ship. You can come on board and see. Okay, only if the reward is suspicious. Sorry, no reward, no deal. Alright, save. Let's see if there's some way we can get a dark side outcome out of this. My guess is no. But we'll try. Whoops. Uh, Mandalorian. Uh, something return. Nothing to offer. Either cough up a reward or forget it. And take what I have, though it leaves me with nothing. Yes. Dark side, see? Hell yeah, man, there is a dark side option, and you didn't believe it. Are you of age, young sin here? I do believe you indeed. The one I seek, blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to say you just go. Yeah, beef king to you, too. 
We got line attack. Well, okay, well, he evens out. We got the little bitch off our ship, so, you know. Works for me. Okay, so we did another quest. Basila's mother, you caught someone named Malaire, who told Basila that her mother was looking for her. Basila has asked you, wait, has, yeah, has asked that you look for her mother. Her name is Helena, and Malaire reported that she saw her last in the colony of Anchorhead on Tatooine. I guess we're going to Tatooine next then, because that seems like the thing to do, doesn't it? Let's go! It's because they were using the same engine as Neverwinter Nights, so they had to design around a lot of technical limitations. I'm sure there's good reasons why the combat sucks. Just that the combat does suck. Like, it, oh, it's bad. It's really bad. Like, not a fan of it. Like, at least it's generally quick. I'll give it that, because there's a lot of bad combat that just, like, the fights are, like, 20 minutes long. At least the fights are pretty quick. At least there's that. All right, Dan Tatooine, we're going Tatooine, Manon, Tatooine. Uh, terrain, desert, canyons, native species, Jawas, sand people, classic sand people, docking, anchor, head, settlement. Let's do it. And yes, that's going to come up between every load screen, apparently. I suppose it really matters. Up and at them. Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. Inside the cockpit, we're going to warp back to nine, Captain, and so forth. Other Star Trek references. I haven't seen Star Trek since I was a kid. I don't remember much of it at all. Well, man, we look fucked up. We having a nightmare. Or a wet dream. It could be a wet dream. I don't know if that's like a, a turned on face or a scared face. There's a lot of flying in this game, you know? I know it's there. Woo! Desert! Get to kick sand at the sand people. I hope they let me suffocate someone with sand. It's a thing I've always wanted to do in a video game, and they've never let me do it. Waiting. There you go. The force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Tatooine is known for little but blowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. I gotta say, you're really selling Tatooine to me. It's desolate and there's nothing but sand. Oh, cool. Uh, it looked like it was inside some kind of cave. Maybe Tatooine wasn't always a desert. I don't have time for your vision. I've got hiccups. Uh, let's go with it. it wasn't always a desert. Perhaps, though that would have been tens of thousands of years in the past. Now past. there's nothing but the howling emptiness of the Dune Sea. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Sweet, let's go do it then. I like how, what's his name, this guy? What is your name? Karth. Poor old Karth. The first companion we got, and we've just neglected the shit out of him since then. He is just standing in the cockpit, and we've just ignored his existence. And I will continue to do so, because he's a little good at you, and I don't like him. This is not the way out of the ship. Let's see if we can find it without using the map. Hmm, I know it was near Candorus. Okay, wait, this is the, okay, so I think... Yeah, it's this way. Suck it. I am the greatest uh, traveler of all time. We'll go with that. Gimme, gimme. All right, cool. Uh, I think we'll roll with those as companions. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, what Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Uh, hello. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. You gotta First, pat me down. Your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits. Get the fuck of out of here. I'm getting really fed up with getting shaken down for money every time I come to a goddamn planet. Navigator, sure. That's that's a good word. One unfortunate side effect of being a trained force sensitive. You stop having dreams. Instead, the force occasionally gives you visions. Some Jedi's like shift can do it 
You manipulate others. See, I want to do that. Like, I want to be friggin' like some Snoke shit going on. I don't know that much. I haven't seen the newest movie, okay? It's not a spoiler. I want to be able to manipulate, manipulate people. I want to be able to just like make people my puppets and stuff like that. I want, I want more darkness. I want more force powers. Uh, what do I get for my 100 credits? Do I get money and strippers? Because if I don't, I'm not going to be... Money? Do I get booze and strippers? Because if not, I'm not going to be happy. The benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable. We just want to cover expenses. You are unreasonable. You're being a dick. What if I say no? Hmm? That would be unfortunate. Zerka Corporation can't Click afford the wrong to button. extend credit. Everyone pays. That's the rule. What if I say no? Zerka Corporation maintains this docking station at great expense. It is within think we our have to. rights to refuse landing permission. And I warn you, we've had troublemakers. All before. right. The bay is lined with auto guns. Violence is not a survivable option. Fine. I thought you were bastard. Without these fees, Zerka Corporation would have closed this port years ago. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration, so we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? You want to recommend the force persuasion power and the more advanced force domination power. If I can get them, I'll do it. Uh, give me some background, Tatooine. Yeah, hit me with the law up in this his aim. There isn't much to tell. Is this it's where Anakin butchered people? Planet. Well, past its prime. Zerka was Corporation rant. is the only company with any interest in it. It's not a very pretty world, but there is opportunity here if you know where to look. What is the Zerka Corp doing here? I can't really get into that. Do it! It hasn't been a very smooth operation. I shouldn't get into it. Absolutely get Force Persuasion. It'll make you able to puppy people like you said. Sweet. Uh, oh, we can. There's a Persuade option. Come now, friend. Let me in on the detail. Let me wave my hand in front of you. Uh, it's Fuck yeah. Enough, so there's no harm in telling you. It's a tale of bad business. You see, Zerka Corporation staked their claim to this planet based on some very promising geological surveys. Unfortunately, that information was incorrect. And possibly even a, an attempt at sabotage by a rival company. Where should a person look for opportunity? It depends on what level of risk you want to take. Absolutely zero. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounty. It's pronounced Zerka? That's in the central. I've been saying it's Zerka. While you're at the office, ask for a hunting license so you can sell trophies to Faza in his lodge, just north of them. I suppose you could also take up swoop racing. Talk to the hut at the registration office by the track. That's in West Anchorhead. I can't say I know which of these jobs is the most dangerous. I stay away from all of them. Can I hunt humans and bring those heads? I'm guessing no, but it would be pretty sweet. Uh, I'm looking for a very specific thing. Who should I ask? Uh, I'm done with you. Stay out of my business or else. Well, that seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? I'm looking for specific stuff. Who should I ask? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? I'm looking for a star map. Very old, very good. I'm just going to hit you with it. I don't give a shit. A star map? That's old holotech, isn't it? Not much reason to outfit this dry rock with tech like that. You could ask around, but for something like that, you'll probably have to go digging. I wouldn't know where to begin. How you much use are you? always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. I already know what Jawa is. I've heard of them. So I wouldn't know, you know, I, I wouldn't know what they look like. Uh, I'll need good paying work. What is there to do? It depends on what level we went of over risk this. you want to take. Done. You could ask at the Zerka office if any bounties need collecting. That's in the... So you got bounties, okay. While you're at the office, I, I suppose okay. you could also... Group racing. I can't say I know... All right, cool. Uh, stay out of my business. There is no need for that. I'm just doing my job. I just felt like you being a dick. You are free to move as you wish. 
Gotta keep up the dark, dark side. I almost said dark side. The DARPA chief. Gotta keep up the dark side, you know. Docking Bay Garage. Not very good guard, are you? Whoa, what happened? I thought it crashed. Excuse me, have you seen a mechanic about? Short fellow, bald, like you? looking. Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. Davin? Davin Coltress? Did you know each other? <laughs> Jolie? Jolie Pinto? Why, you old freak. Last time I saw you, you were still wandering the galaxy in that old tug. I thought you were dead, old man. I crashed somewhere and decided to stay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll just bet. Damn, old man. You look exactly the same as the last time I saw you. You pickle well. Blank don't crack. Kind. Not the young lad anymore yourself, I see. Blank don't crack. Can I introduce your friend Jolie? What are you, deaf? His name's Davin. All right, you are pushing your luck away. from my wanderer days. By the by, Davin, I really should be running off. Of course. Go back to Lilo and Stitch. Oh, w wait. I if you've been traveling in this sector, I suppose you heard about Sunry? No, why? What's there to hear? He's been picked up by the Selkath authorities on Manan for murder. That's preposterous. I know. Nalora is beside herself, as you can imagine. Maybe you could help them. I'm sure Sunray would appreciate a Jedi's assistance right about now. Perhaps I will at that. It's up to my friend here, actually. I'm just tagging along. Exactly. I'm the goddamn boss of you, so don't talk back to me, you piece of shit. John, what are the tight hooded uh, guys with yellow eyes? Ah, okay, so I do know what they look like because I remember those. I thought those were sand people. I'll be honest with you. I almost knocked my drink over. That would have sucked. Uh, we could check into it when we're on Manan next. I'd appreciate that. So Manan, as you friend, said. I'd hate to see him hurt. Same here. Well, <laughs> sounds like my Nan. Good to see you again. Give my regards to I prefer Manon. I will. Plus, it's, it's got two A's friend. or three. You know, it's like it. It. You'd think with the double A, it would accentuate the na sound. Like, so it would be Manon, not Manan. I don't know. What do I know about language? Mick, Hunan, just Orgu. You're gonna be called Mick. Who that? Turn it, you gunda fassa. Customers are talking. That's better. Hello, customer. Buy from Mick Dave and save your credits. And don't be shy. Just ask to see what you want. If you can't get a good look, we don't move the merchandise. Just show me where you got, you freak. Yes, of course. We don't want to keep you from your important business. Please have a look. Uh, you sell medic packs. I need some. Sell them to me now. Thank you. Life support pack. You got four of them. Hmm. Usanis's brand. Let's read the law. Usanis was the most famous of Ikani warriors, fighting against oppression and villainy until encountering da encountering enc encountering Darth Revan. Discovering that Revan had killed an Ikani senator, Usanis attempted to tell authorities, but fell to the powers of the Sith Lord. Despite his own impressive abilities and the cortosis weave inherent in all Ikani vibroblades. Go, oh, he sucks. Gotcha. Eight grand. We got 2.7. Jamal Hogra's carbine. There's some more lore. There's some more lore. Uh, there's a lot of lore. Breathe mask. We already have that. Yeah, none of this looks... This is a highly pungent mixture of local plants and fungus. Manthus apparently find it irresistible. It costs one. Uh, though it's doubtful any intelligent species would willingly call it food. I'm going to buy it. There's only one of them, and it costs one freaking credit. So it seems like the thing to do. Thank you. You have been most helpful. You freak. I like the way they've just got, like, a freaking xenomorph on their back. Just just chilling there. Just chilling. Like, just just friendly looking. Hello there, Captain. Let's see. Ah, yes, here it is. It looks like the shipment has been delivered to your ship as requested. What shipment was that again? Well, let me see. Docking Bay 32 check crate. 42B7 check manifest lists. Life form. Gizka. Everything seems to be in order. Did you say Gizka? It says right here on the manifest that you ordered a crate of Gizka to be delivered to Docking Bay 32. That's right here. Now I need your thumbprint for the... Wait a second. Where did the data pack go? 
Nothing ever is organized around here. At any rate, the Giscard are yours. One of the loaders said the crate split open once. He put it in your hold. Some of the critters might have gotten loose. That happens, I'm afraid. We don't accept liability, and we certainly can take the cargo back. Enjoy. So someone has... Take it easy, Yohab. Someone has delivered something called Gizka to my ship. Okay. The trouble with Gizka. The fates seem to be conspiring against you. I've noticed this. The disorganized port authorities on Tatooine appear to have shipped a delivery of Gizka to the Ethan Hawk's hold. And there doesn't appear to be any way to give them back. The dock worker mentioned that some of the Gizka escaped, which certainly doesn't sound good. Huh. Go have a look on our ship then, I guess. But that is water world. Water world. That's cool. I like water. It's handy. Yep, that's that's a Gizka, all right? Hello. Gizka looks at you curiously, queuing. Feed it Gizka poison. Is that the stuff I just bought? Pick it up, kill it, pet it. Let's pet it. You scratch the little critter behind its nubs and pass that pass for ears, and it coos enthusiastically in response. Play a game with it. You play a game of peekaboo with a little critter hiding your face behind your hands and staring at it each time you appear. What fun! Giska looks at you curiously, cooing. Feed it the poison. Giska devours the poison. A single greedy go will probably take a few seconds for the poison to have an effect. Stuck all on that, you little shit. Get off my goddamn ship. What the hell are they doing? Are they all poisoning each other? They're all licking each other. Yeah, man. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And dropping like flies. Oh, just one more left. I don't know if that was the thing to do, but I did it. Uh, Alright then, well... we. Mu I think we're done? Yeah, the quest is gone. Oh no, there's more. Hang on. Now, about why are you just letting these things run around, man? Like... God damn you. You're big and furry. You probably want to eat stuff like that, right? Makes sense to me. Make yourself useful. Uh, kill it. Fragile creature's neck is easily wrung. Strangely enough, another Giska shows itself a moment later, crawling out from between two panels. Okay. Kill it. Okay, so they just multiply if we try that. Hmm... Odd. Very odd. The Carney pronounced E as in C. Chan, similar to chance. E are some of the... What? E as in C. Chan, similar to chance. E... E-san? Isani? Is that where we go with that? I don't know. My more poison. Apparently, though we only had one. I'm going to pet it. Who's a little scamp? Yeah, you are. Let's pick it up. You're coming with me now. You try to pick up the Gizka, but it wriggles from your grasp and plumps back down to the floor. The Gizka looks at you curiously, queuing. All right, I guess we can't pick it up. Looks disappointed. All right, um... This is a very strange video game. I'd just like to point that one out. Like, it is... It is peculiar. It is it is odd. Just... You just arrive on, on a planet, and they're like, what up? We delivered a bunch of little shits to your ship. Enjoy. And that's that's just the thing. It's just a thing. And then you can, like, poison them. Okay, um... Who the Christ did I buy it off of? Oh, it was this weird... Where did he go? Was he... I guess he wasn't over here. Well, let's rob this footlocker while we're at it. Sonic grenade, concussion grenade, med pack. Sure. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh, that's right, he was over there. Would I prefer a Porg infestation? I don't know what a Porg is, so let's say yes. What we're saying we don't sell anything if you don't ask for it. Step up the sea, blah, blah, blah. What are you selling? Do you have any more poison? You do. Oh. Any Gizka ingesting one of these toxic plants will die within a few seconds. You have infinite. It costs 350. 350. Okay, I bought two of them. I oh, don't need any more than that. We might have only needed the one. I um, may have wasted a bunch of money, but poor shit anyway so you know just being slightly more poor shit does it really matter i doubt it all right so go find them they were next to our wookie friend i use the term friend loosely can't remember where he was i think he was over here. Yeah, yeah yeah there he is god stuck on all the walls hello where did the where'd it go where'd it go 
Yes, good buddy. Yes, good buddy. Yeah, little Kiskin. Who's the little Kiskin? Yes, you are. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Porgs are basically space puffins from the latest Star Wars movie. Fuck yeah, give me porgs. Who doesn't want a space puffin? That's pretty cool. I can't find them anymore. They appear to have abandoned ship. Or abandoned ship. Son of a bitch. They have to be around here, right? They have to be. Why would they make me leave the ship to get poisoned if they just disappear? Where, Where did they go? Where did... Where did they go? Maybe, yeah, maybe Chewie did eat them. He's not Chewie, I know. He's friggin' Zalabar. Maybe Zalabar actually finally made himself useful. I accidentally left the bollocking ship. Son of a bitch, I hate everything. Add. Add. I don't know where they went. I don't know where they went. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Hmm. They did look kind of delicious. I was thinking that too. So, hang on. What the fuck am I stuck? What are you stuck on? There's nothing there. Jesus. Alright, they're not in there. We went that way, I think. What about over here? Dude, for real? They're just... You only need to use the poison once. So are they gone? They're just, they're just gone? They spread it around once you feed it. Oh, so I wasted my money on that poison. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, I guess we dealt with that problem, I suppose. I don't even know. Yeah, apparently the poison killed them all. I did. Or whatever. Uh, gimme, gimme, and gimme, gimme. I wonder if we can sell the poison back. We probably can, but I doubt we'll get as much as we paid for it, which is kind of annoying. But we'll try. We'll try. Maybe we'll need it for another part of this planet or something, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, sell... Uh, so we go sell list. Where's the gifts? Boys, is it down at the bottom? This is the last thing I got. No, of course it's not. That would just be convenient. This is the worst menu system. 87. Fucking hell, that sucks. Pay tree fitty for each of those. Tree fitty. That's a lot. Mechanic. Why are you bothering me? You've got a ship. You can leave this rock. What the hell? I was just trying to see what was happening. God, you miserable fuck. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, I'll take it. A bunch of crap, but I'll take it. Stop following me, Bastler. It's weird. Well, Jason, she's literally a follower. How's she gonna... I don't care. Just keep your distance, all right? Too close. I'm bringing my goddamn personal space. And I don't like it. What the hell is that thing? I have to know. What are you? What on earth are you? So, Star Wars crashed, as it is wont to do. So we're going to, ah, bloody hell. All right, hang on. So we're going to, I can, I can just, okay. Open the flawless widescreen. Move that over, move, no, move it, oh, move, no. There you go, move it over there. Star Wars Relaunch the game, and hopefully we don't have to relaunch it like 18 times to make it work. Okay, it instantly crashed. It's a fantastic start. Number two. Okay, it has not worked, so we need to relaunch the game again. Without that, oh, it crashed again when I closed it. That's lovely. I says move this over here. No, no, no. Move. You relaunch the game again. Come on, you can do it, I believe. I believe. Okay. Still not working. I hate this. I hate trying to get this bastard game to work. That's the worst part. It's like it just it just it crashes. Even like you got it work, and then you gotta do it all again. You do all just fucking like threading a needle when you're a blind man. Like it just it's hard work, okay? It's hard work. So how are you all? Don't we all love Star Wars? Because lasers and laser swords and aliens. Who doesn't love aliens? Okay, aliens are pretty cool. You know, the only thing cool in aliens, fucking dinosaurs and maybe dragons. But dragons are basically dinosaurs. But they're just like not real dinosaurs. They're dinosaurs that don't exist. You know, 
And dinosaurs do exist. You you can't say they don't. I mean, they're not still alive, but they do exist. You know, the bones are there. So it corrupted my save, of course. So uh, we're going to load this other save. Let's switch over to here so you can see the bloody game. There you go. Fantastic. Right, so let's move this back over here. Chant. What about hot aliens? Uh, see, hot aliens don't do anything for me. They just don't. Okay, good, good. It was right here. Save again. Thank you. Lovely. Let's save on our backup. Thank God it always saved when I went through that friggin' load screen. Man, that would have sucked all of the dick. Like, just deep throw it all the way down. Hello, Ronto. You made the game crash. You're a bad Ronto. What's your name? Mana Dimnot. Nice name you got there, bitch. Gross Mana. Okay, we're gonna look for people that have distinctive names, not these generic bastards. What is this? This is nothing at all. Fantastic. Spaceport. Don't care. Uh, can I go in any of these buildings? Seemingly not. No. Where am I on the map? I am here. Hunting lot. Okay, so we can go in some of them. Might be a good idea to get the patch from World of the Old Republic. It's pretty much required for KOTOR 2. Uh, excuse me. What makes you think you're going to play KOTOR 2? Hunting Lodge. Here we go. They did say to get a hunting perma or something like that. I might play KOTOR 2. I don't know yet. Depends how I feel when we finish this one. Baza Utro. Well, new face come to test your skill on endless dunes of Tatooine. Fez's Lodge is the place to arrange it. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest presence this side of the galactic rim job. A hunter's paradise. Been spend most of our lives living in a hunter's paradise. Hunted an Ewok once or twice, living in a hunter's paradise. Don't know the rest. Oh my nose. Do you have anything for sale or trail? What do you do here when I ask about Tatooine? Anything out of the ordinary happening? Yeah, that one. You mean here at Tatooine? Just in general, I heard about the destruction of Terrace. Don't know anything specific. I'm not surprised something like it happened. I remember the Exarch Kuna War and how Sith and the Jedi fought across worlds. I have much interest in either group, but I act like they're above my concerns, and I guess they are. Don't buy anything more low. Ah, uh, it's so a Zerka Corporation or Zerka Corporation. They're always complaining about sand people. I stay out of it. We hunt animals, not people. But you'll have to talk to these groups yourself for more. I keep to myself. Anything for sale. No, but I'm not allowed to even look at you. Or look at what you have until I have it. Until I see a hunting license. Zerka Corporation. Whatever. The other hunters all have theirs. I can't make exceptions or I get shut down. How do I get one? There's no option to ask, all right, fine. KOTOR 2 is a pretty different beast, but this one, this, but has one of the best stories in gaming. Gotcha. Gotcha. Doesn't really surprise me, because it was made by Obsidian. Obsidian made Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout New Vegas is incredible. Also extremely buggy, but incredible. These people all have names. Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. I don't babysit. I'm going to kill you. You show me respect, I demand it. Easy now, I'm not looking for a fight. You fucking this are. This is a friendly place to gather. You, you're kidding, right? This is friendly, and yet you just talk to me like that. It doesn't seem very friendly. Maybe I'm tired of your face. Maybe I'll remove it. Maybe I'll cut it off and make your mother wear it if Easy she's still now. alive. Come on. Look, I don't want any trouble. I'll just leave, all right? Don't worry about me. Get Every the fuck out of here, big mouth. brings a new hot shot. I don't have the time. Yeah, fuck off. Bastard. Okay, what about the other fella? This dark side. What about this guy? <laughs> don't you interrupt my drinking? Gurky got small patience. Go bother him. Who's Gurky? Also, screw you two. You're a dick. Oh, this is Gurky. Ah, boys. It talked to me. What you want, you me? Ah, oh, yeah, you tell him, Gurky. Snort. <sighs> Watch your tongues, piggies, or I'll rip them out. What you took pretty big, maybe you should take that back, Gurky and boy is tough. Yeah, Gurky, right. Maybe we chase you out of system, maybe dump you in the dunes. Or, or I slaughter you where you stand. You want to risk it? Oh, now wait a minute, easy now. Gurky, we have to uh, go do that thing. What? Oh yeah, you lucky Humie. We got to go do some business somewhere. Yeah, we see you again though, just you wait. I get a feeling we might run into them again. We shall see. Hey, more dark side. Hello, tennis event. What can I do for you? Mm. Did my wife send mm. you? This ain't about credits, is it? You have a wife, eh? 
I'm surprised by this. Uh, maybe it is. What's your life worth? Whoa, what'd you say? You know, I come here because the guards stop your kind of trouble before it starts. Not fast enough to stop me killing you. Well, actually, they probably are. But I'll save you the trouble of testing it. I'm leaving. We're just clearing out this bar. I'm not a fight with you. I've raid to hunt. We meet on the dunes. You watch out. On the bar, is it? It's a hunting lodge. We're clearing out the hunting lodge. Get wrecked. Don't crash. Do we get dark side points for that? We get nothing. Oh, no, there you go. Okay. This took forever. Do you have a name? Seemingly not. How peculiar. Can I interact with you in any way? No, you just don't exist. All right, fair enough. Uh, that guy. Okay, you have a name. Yes, is there something you wish, human? Yes. What will you pay for me to not kill you? You talk far too big, human. This isn't the place for such things. Guards are a short yell away. Pay me or you'll end up dead. It's that simple. No, things are never quite so black and white. I'm protected here, as are you. Nothing will come of this. Goodbye, human. Perhaps we will meet again, but I sincerely hope not. Go on. We're just going to get everybody out of the lodge. I don't know what this is about or why we can do this, but I'm kind of enjoying just walking around being an absolute dick to everybody in here. You also do not seem to exist. Lovely. And this guy's called Kudos. Kudos to you, Kudos. Kudos. Not a human, are you a hunter like the others here? Not the life for me. I'm a pirate. Yar. But I admire you for it. Uh, heard any off-planet rumors? Nothing since that unfortunate business of Terrace. Republic is reeling from that, as are we all. It is troubling, but you can't let that call a stop to your day. We've survived worse, and we will again. It's just the way things are. What do you do? I fill the days with games of Pazak. Oh, God. Now there are many people to play with, but a person should keep busy somehow. I play with a fellow in the cantina, but I find him distasteful. He does not play for the same reasons as I do. Why do you play? The sport of it. Even if I lose, there is reward in having played to the best of my ability. I don't dwell on the credits taken or given. To most people, the game is simply gambling, but I choose to get more out of it than that. Not many players see it that way, or see it my way. Other questions. Let's talk about Tatooine. Why, well, I doubt I could tell you more than the rest of these fellows. I haven't set foot outside Anchorhead, and I don't know why anyone would want to. Tatooine isn't a very hospitable place. I'll be going as soon as the parts of my ship arrive. It may take some time, though. Hmm, okay, I don't think he's useful. I think he's just a guy we can play for Zack with. Most intriguing. Zwing. Can I have a hunting license, sir? I cleared everyone else out of the lodge, so you know. Can we get a hunting license? Here we go. I see no option to ask him about one. Uh, ask about Tatooine. Not much to tell. Baron Place can't support much, but I've managed to get some off-world hunters to show up. I suppose there's trouble here like anywhere else, but you'll have to ask someone else about that. I keep to myself. All right, you are useless. Tatooine in general. Don't much interest in group. Okay, we're asked all this. Okay, cool. I don't know how to get that thing. Hello, Nikki. How's it going? You just got home from the game. I'll take a shower and then join in the stream again. Okie dokie, you enjoy your shower. When you get back, I'm going to ask you all about how the game went. Uh, Sharina Fizak. Please, will you help me? I have nothing. nothing I'm left. evil. You, you didn't get the memo. Speak. I am listening. I'll try not to take up too much of your time. You better not. I realize not. that everyone is out for themselves on Tatooine. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. Yes, I agree, Kaiser. And take these to the man. What is a raid plate and where did you get it? It's the bone plate from the head of the desert raid. Ah. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting. He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Let's talk about what to do with this plate. Will you buy it? I can't sell it myself. They are worth more than 500 credits. I think I'll just take it from you. Please tell me you're kidding. This is a stick up. I can't get any lower than this, and you would take advantage? Yes. I'm called Darth Cito. Again, 
you didn't get the memo. Hand it over or things will get very unpleasant. They'll get very ugly, like my face. Please, no. Take it then. But you may as well have just killed me. You've trapped us I here. can do that too no. if you like. This is the day is special. Stealing from a helpless woman. How could you? Quite my easily. My. You should be proud of yourself outwitting her like that. Thanks, man. No, I can count on you. No conscience. That plate was all I had. We're trapped here now. All because of you. Darkness take you, monster. It troubles me. I am the darkness. Such acts can lead to the dark side. I believe in nothing good. I hate that song. All right. We give me one points. Yeah. Okay. We got the plate as well. Lovely. And we're pissing off Basla. Everything's going according to plan. There is a human woman. I am outraged at her arrogance. You do all of your species place yourselves on such annoying pedestals. Step back, fool. I don't like your goddamn tone. Mostly because I can't friggin' understand it. See that same attitude? That don't even talk to me look she had. I swear, Helena must be your word for pit rank or. Oh, it's her mother. You seem pretty hateful, you racist. What? No, but you don't understand. The woman, I think she didn't like us breathing the same air. You'd think she was queen on the planet. No offense, but you, your companion here looks especially like her. That messenger said my mother is on Tatooine somewhere. We should ask about her. If that woman is your mother, you have my sympathy. She's driving the regulars out of the cantina as we speak. Is she still there? Probably, I don't think anyone else could top her attitude, so she won't be leaving. I won't be going back while she's there, though. Try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. Congrats on looking for her. You humans, you're all out of your minds. You're out of your goddamn gourds. All right, thank you for the information, you bastard. All right, can I loot this? Yes, I can. Get out of the way. Gimme, gimme. 20 credits? Hell yeah. Hello. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so... Please, make it quick. Oh, I'm super busy. That's why I'm just standing here doing nothing. Uh, I'll take however long I want. You understand, Sito? Uh, is this some kind of problem? I'm just doing my job. I don't want any my trouble job. from you. Coffee. I think you're my problem. Maybe I should do something about it. Hey, why are you threatening Cause me? Because I threaten I everyone. Just the crawlers. It's not like I'm packing away the credits. Nah, I don't need this. What are you trying to prove? I don't know how evil I am. I'll leave you alone for a few credits. Look, you can just get lost, all right? We well. have to get the crawlers ready for the morning. Don't need some crazy surge slime threatening me. Got sand people for that. Huh. Fox. You Hang on a minute. Oh, no, you can just keep walking. Maybe I can I'm kill him. dealing with you again. Oh, fucking hell. Damn it, we missed the opportunity. Well, at least we got dark side points, so that's nice. Uh, that guy's got a generic name. Citizen of Anchorhead. Really? Are you are you important? Nope. Actually, you could be. Me one gluck gluck. Hello, Jawa. We will remember you when you are sand too. That's fucking creepy. You look like Vivi, kind of. All right, swoop registration. No, oh, what's going on here? Lord Malak was most displeased when most he learned you had alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Guess what, motherfucker? You ain't gonna be there to collect that reward. Boomerang of justice. Ba 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 da. Whoa, he deflected it. Too shame on him. Ba 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 da ba ba da. Yes. Holy shit, please cure us. We're about to bloody die. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, that's bad. Quickly kill the dark Jedi. Holy shit, I'm getting mind controlled like a motherfucker. Yow! Kill him! Stop! Stop! Just leave me alone, I can't move! He's messing with my man, man. There's a lot of lightsabers going on here right now. Oh god, I hope I don't die. Please just kill one of them. If one of them dies, maybe we'll thank you. Maybe we got a chance. Who is doing this to me? Jesus god, I can't you move. Shall fall. I'm here. I heard I you shall not pass. Kill them, kill them, kill them. Cure everyone. Thank you. Okay, I think we got a handle on the situation. It was a little close. It was a little sketchy. Fantastic. You shall not pass. Zwing, like I said. 
You ain't gonna be around to collect that goddamn bounty. Can you get out of the way, Bachelor? I'm getting stuck on you constantly. You're ruining my one-liners. Citizen, you saw nothing. Alright, I can't seem to loot their bodies. Oh, no, never mind, I can. Take the lightsabers. I was trying. Uh, real crystal, double blade lightsaber, dark Jedi knight robe. Is that different to the robe we have? I think ours is just a dark robe. Nope, it's a dark Jedi knight robe. Okay. Same damn thing. Well, whatever. Yoink. Ooh, a Sith assassin pistol and a data pad. Could be important. And a short lightsaber. Okay. And a crystal red. Cool. All right. Because your character has low wisdom, your saving throws for force powers fail a lot. So lightning deals more damage. You are easy to choke, force push, and force fear, etc. Well, that don't that suck. Okay, let me look at the map real quick. So we've got the registration, the cantina. Okay, so that's where her mother apparently is. So let's go over there. Did that guy have a name? Hang on. Was that the guy who spoke to us? <laughs> no, it's just a minor. Okay. Yeah, Rachiku Muchushaba to you too. Even though he has joined your group, Jolie remains a somewhat mysterious character. Maybe you should speak to him. Got something on your mind. No, apparently you do though. Tell me about Sunri. What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunri for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time though. But to become a murderer, uh, I can't see it. That's not the Sunri I knew. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Or so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. A monkey lizard? I don't expect much these days. Is that insult? I can't even tell. Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, so... Apparently the short lightsaber is a really good offhand weapon. Thing is, all of our upgrades are in the current uh, lightsabers that we have equipped. So, maybe if I go back to the Ethan Hawk and I can unequip them or something. So, let's try that real quick. Let's see if there's a thing. Let's see if that lets us do that. Sure. Alright, so let's go on board because I think there was a weapon station thingy on here, wasn't there? Wasn't it like pretty much right ahead? It was over here or something. Yeah, okay. So, lightsabers. Okay, so see if we can remove this stuff. I we can. Okay, cool. Apparently, I... Okay, so I can't get rid of the color. That's the color. Okay. So, let's just do that. Uh, so, let's find whichever one that was. Zwing, zwing. E... I can't tell. Yeah, okay. So, this one. Bollocks. Trying to figure out which one's which. Okay, so I think this one is okay. So this is going to be offhand. So let's switch to short lightsaber there, lovely. And then let's try and upgrade the short lightsaber that we have equipped. Fantastic. So we got Rubat attack one, damage one seems pretty good. Attack bonus three, attack bonus one, keen special. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go with that. And then we'll do attack bonus. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. I don't know if that's a good idea, but yeah, let's hope so. Okay, so how do we upgrade stuff? No idea. Oh, isn't that just exactly what we just did? I guess so. Well, what about armor? Eh, upgrade this. What does it require? I don't know, but I did it. Sure, whatever. You're gonna have yellow offhand because you may be evil, but yellow lightsabers are cool. I mean, yeah. At some point, I'll probably mix up the color of our lightsabers. But now we're rolling with red because, you know, we're full on bad guy. But uh, I, I'm, at some point, I'll change the colors. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Don't worry. Alright, so add you and add this old bastard. Beautiful. So let's go back to the cantina. I think. Can I not transit back? Back to your pre- yes? Question mark? Well then I'll put me on the Ethan Hawker though, because I just- I don't know, I'm confused. Where the crap am I? Okay, no, yeah, we are where the jar was. Well. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. So the cantina entrance is over here. Beautiful. Hello, Ronto. 
save. Let's make another save as well, because the game is quite crashy, as we've seen. Lovely. In we go. Whoops, that's the wrong button. I knew that. I was just testing you. Just testing you. Funky music. Like it. Zerka. Oh, it's Zerka, not Zerka. Even though he's joined your group. What? Did that's we just talk? What do you know about this place? Well, unless you're one of the local species and end up being slaughtered or enslaved, Tatooine's a nice enough desert. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Yeah, I probably should mess around with the other characters, I know. Uh, why did you decide to come with me? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. Great Sith Lord Free Donard, who conquered an entire planet, had a yellow short lightsaber and destroyed a lot of Jedi during his lifetime. Cool. So you wanted to ride on my ship? Or it could be for the free food. Like I said, at some point it's we'll the change it. That comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway. Do you never clean the darn thing? No, seriously, tell me. I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. You're a black lightsaber, me too. Or a white one. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew. Or a black and a white one. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. Did you annoy this person endlessly too? Oh, very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? I know, right? That's all I'm saying. Children with blasters. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Is that what you see around me too? Well, it's not so much a hurricane as a slight breeze. You dick. But that doesn't mean anything. Destiny is sometimes in the eye of the beholder. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. Does this story have a point, old man? Does it have to have a point? I thought we were just talking about Andor. Something wrong with your attention span. Let's see. Oh, yes. Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. There's a Simpsons quote in there somewhere. I'm sure at some point, Grandpa Simpson's telling like a real long story. And then, I can't remember, probably one of the kids is like, Grandpa, what's the point of the story? And he just goes, I like stories. Or actually, no, it was Homer that says it. I can't remember anyway. Uh, how young are we talking? Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair. And it was a while ago then, wasn't it? Small town with a will. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians. No. But at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning. And that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Go on. Well... Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. What a guy. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Or this could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally... Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor oh, made something sensitive on what the a way card. down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. You're kidding. Everyone panics, and I run, My gosh. barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly. And the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Old people have the best stories. I hate you, old man. Well, now that's the ingratitude of you for you. I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No. 
No, it's all me, me, me. Uh, anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Another feeling. My throat's dry too. Okay, so we're looking for the mother. What the hell is this thing? Like, what is... Is this like that Has Hatsune Miku shit? That is... Uh, Furko Nellis. Hello. Well, a fresh face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? My name is Furko Nellis. I know what your My name is. Is Bazak. I know your voice. Are you? I know exactly who you are. You know the guy who's like, I work for Bellafour in Bellafour shop in Skyrim. That dude, that's who that is. God, I'm good. I would not like to play Bazak. I would like you to take the cards and shove them betwixt your ass cheeks. I'd like to ask you some questions. Though. Ah, I'm sure you do, but I won't have answers. I leave other people to their business and they leave me to mine. Really, you'll have to seek information elsewhere. But if you want some recreation, I've cards ready to play. You must have an opinion about what happened on Terrace. Must I? An opinion would draw attention to myself. The Sith have shown. I don't trust you, Scar Man. Their attention. All right, just shove it. All right, but remember that there isn't much fun on Tatooine that isn't life-threatening. Come back if you like a game. I would not. You can shove it. You can shove it. Oh, look who I found. Well, hello. To your bastard's mother. Maybe, uh... Maybe it'll work out better with you than her, because, like, I'm trying here, and it's just... She's leaving me out of dry. Yes? I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Works dead. out for me! What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? No. My mother is a lovely woman. I think you two should make up and then we can have a threesome, you know? I'm not saying you two have to do anything to each other because that's just weird. But, like, if I can get down with both of you, I'll be a very happy Darth Sito Jedi man, you know? Future Sith. Uh, anyway, uh, my mother is long dead, if you must know. Hey, leave me out of this. Only if she deserved it. Let's go with that. I see Bastila seeks out friends that are as selfish as she is. This is how you treat a dying woman? I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely... All the more reason for us to have this threesome, okay? Such you only live once. Things, you say. <sighs> Perhaps I should and you're on the clock. First before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. Did you see the body? Otherwise, he's not I dead. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to Guaranteed. find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. I gotta say, I don't think this threesome's gonna work out. They really don't seem to be getting along. Uh, why'd you go you know, hologram yourself, Miss uh, Helena? Do you want to find your father's remains, Bassa? What about your mother's sickness? Uh, let's go with the first one. As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition, nor am I the adventurer my husband was. That bastard took an arrow in the fucking knee. Don't you want to find the remains? What remains would there be? Well, I don't know, lady. Just walk with me, all right? Predators, easily able to devour Look at that sexy dancer in the background. Look at her go. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. All right. 
She, she's so bloody stubborn. Why don't you get the holocron yourself, Miss uh, Helner? Is it charmed? I'm sure. As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition, nor am I the adventurer my husband. You said was. this. Why are we going around in circles here? Okay, what about the sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. I would check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Yeah, I agree, Kaiser. They're, uh... About as warm as I was when I was standing out in the goddamn snow during the funeral. Okay, move your freaking ass. God, you suck. Hello, Junix Nard. You have a stupid name. Eh, who are you then? Only new people. And the same come face as Junix everybody Nard's else in the game. Are long time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. Please keep any blast. Literally, to a every minimum. human looks like him. Other than like, there's like one black face. There's the white face, and then there's like one other dude they use occasionally almost every white guy looks like him though uh any out of the ordinary i suppose you're fishing for a reaction to the destruction of Tyrus. no i'm talking about tatooine you tit. anyone from off world is talking about well i'll tell you it's about time someone kicked the republic republican the tail and got things moving i guess the sith are the ones that do it don't get me wrong all those deaths were no, right, wrong. But war gets the money moving maybe they'll decide to fortify it was like a smoker Anything more local? No. No, you don't know, or no, you won't tell me. Just no. I don't look for trouble. You'll have to talk to people yourself if you want more than that. Now, uh, if you don't mind. Naturally, I do mind. Hang uh, on. What else she's selling? Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. Yeah, everyone comes out with that excuse. Everyone's like, oh, well, you know, I, I had more, but Zerka Corp came out. Shut up. You never had any more. Your oh, stores yeah. always suck. Don't give me that bullshit. Uh, let's talk about Sassy Wayne. Did some Zerka promoter tell you to come to this planet? I pity you if you were expecting a prosperous a mining outpost. Nothing here but sand and more sand. Yeah, so I'm told. It's a little hunting and racing, but nothing that'll make a small man rich. What about a rich man small? What about the racing? I don't deal with any of that. Mod of the Hut has a lock on everything race related. Classic to huts. Week. You deal with him? Or with their always... hands in every basket of pickles. Uh, Alright, uh, hunting. Well, there are two kinds of hunting on Tatooine hunting raid and hunting people. Ooh. Both are dangerous and both have certain restrictions. You'll need a Zerka hunting license, even though most But how do I get that? Because I went to the lodge and have no dice. Away. I've already been to the lodge, man. Where do they give it the licenses? They maintain an office west of here in Central Anchorhead. That's about all they maintain these days. All right. There's a Zer Zerka, not Zerka, Zerk office west or whatever the hell he said. All right. Well, when yeah. we find the office, that'll be where we get it. Look at it go. Look at it go. Can I talk to her? Woo, baby, you shake it. Yeah, woo. I wish I could make it rain on that hole. Game does not let me do that though. Okay, are any of you important? You do not appear to be. Hello. Why would you bother me? Oh, we of Jawa under is this yours do not care for ours. Do you miss we that are taken? No? Fucking what did you just say? What? We that I'd say are some of your people missing? Is this interest not from your kind, though Isis thinks otherwise speak to him if you are acting and pretending? Jawas are tired of giant speak, might as well slave to the gaffy, so you trade, but what is that I can't read that bloody quick. Jesus, misery, hello, how you doing? Heck but nothing changes, Nas is still lost. Dagger's your leader? Stands at the walls that hold out the sand. They listen poorly there too. Your kind hide behind bars. Joe was a tired of giant speak. Might as well slave of Gaffy so you trade, but what is it? No one's helping given. Look, views, but alright, let's leave this hellhole. Joe was the reeklings of Star Wars, you know?
I was thinking that. There is definitely a similarity there. They sound very similar. and about the same size. Is that actually a quest? You and Jolie have talked a lot about his past. You may continue with the conversation with him in the future, perhaps. Okay, Basla, Basla's mother. Agree to consider a mother's request. Okay, so we're also here for the star map, lest we forget. Um, not a frigging clue where to go over that. Uh, where do we come in? The June Sea droid shop. I guess we'll check out the droid shop and then maybe go to the dunes. I don't know, man. I'm kind of flying by, my, by the seat of my pants right now, as they say. Yeah, so I hope I can get some rest today too as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. How, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I'm very tired, in case it wasn't obvious. In we go. Yeah, I know. We need to go to the Zerker office. I know that. Yuka Laka. You will be ukulele from now on. What is this? A customer I don't recognize. Perhaps you bring offered money to ukulele. What do you have available in your shop? And also, my money is my own business. Mmm, that being it. Of course it is, of course, but you must appreciate the finer things like ass. Just take a look at the droid I have available, an HK-47. It's a fine protocol translator. I think it's been modified. It claims to understand the same people dialect, and also some of the other mounts. I'm already perhaps. Oh, is this another companion? Is this the other companion that people were talking about? Oh, I can ask you about the star map. I'm looking for exotic, something called a star map. I deal mostly in swoop parts and droid maintenance. Hmm, maybe I heard a Jawa mutter something about old things, but I could have misheard. They cover very large areas when they scavenge it, but aren't doing much right now. What is stopping the Jawas from scavenging? Again, I may have misunderstood, but I think some of their tribe mates are missing. I think they want his help. I stay away from trouble, but if you are interested, there was a Jawa by the city a gate. You will need a droid to translate, though. Well, ain't that convenient that you happen to have a fucking droid? Uh, so... Did the Jawas bring you this HK-47? Makes me think of AK-47 every time. No, they keep assembled or working units to sell themselves. They don't have them often and no place to store them. Let me ask you a few questions about HK-47. Let me just say that every function I've tested has performed perfectly. Those that I could find anyway. Cool. You're trying to rid a sinus cold gotten whilst visiting your nieces and nephews, but overall you're a good thing. Oh, that sucks. I hope you feel better soon. The old dear next to me in the funeral was like constantly blowing her nose. And I don't know if she was crying because she was sad or if, you know, could have been that or if she got... I really hope she wasn't infected with something because like, good lord, don't give that to me. I don't know. Anyway, um... This will probably become your favorite character in this game. I'm told this droid is cool. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much. Because sometimes people oversell things and then I'm like, oh, that was it. Uh, what does the HK-47 designate? Um, well, hang on. Sure, we'll go with what does HK-47 mean? I've got a clue. It doesn't match any protocol or utility stand. I assume it's a retired model. I tell you to ask the thing yourself, but it's pretty stubborn. Quality construction, though. Where'd you get it? I acquired the droid from a friend that managed an off-world Zerka warehouse. It was in trade for a debt he owed. He said no one would miss it. Might have been surplus. It doesn't look like it was Zerka made, though. I'm interested. Let's talk about a press. It's a very solid machine in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. Can I convince you to lower the press? 4,000, not credit less. That was quick. Desperate to sell, are you? Oh, no, not really. But the first figure... Really was a little high. You never know. The occasional person bites right away. Perhaps I can convince you to go lower. Lower? How low are you expecting me to go? These are difficult times. The debt the droid covered was a large one. Come on now. Think of the advertising you'll get from me. Bollocks. Start to our last time. Let's go 4,000 credits. Drop the price or I'll see you dead. I am no fighter, please. I need this shop to make my living. I can't just give the droid away. It troubles me to see you behaving this way. Such Keep your goddamn nose accepted. out of it, all right? I'm bargaining here. 2,500 credits is as low as I can go, I swear. I can pay that. I, uh, I can almost pay that, though. If it caused me great stress for nothing, get out of my shop. If you want this droid... Okay. Uh, if you come through me again... Blah, blah, blah. What's the price? 2,000... Okay. Uh, so we need a little tiny bit more money. I think we're close. Hang on. Stop, 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 stop
We are at, yeah, so we need, what was it, 2,500? So we need 251. So if we can find a shop to sell some stuff, which apparently is not this shop. It, oh, it's there. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if we can find a shop to sell some stuff. Uh, actually, hang on. Maybe you can steal it. Maybe if I just talk to him, I can get him to leave. Let's try. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, a fully functional Sizetech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. So yourself, droid, why would I need you? Disclosure. I am a versatile protocol and combat droid, fluent in verbal and cultural translation. Should your needs prove more practical, I am also skilled in highly personal combat. You're any good at sucking dick. So you translate. I understand most languages well enough. Why would you be better than armed battle bots? Let's go back to my real route. See if I purchase it. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Either way, we need money. Shell entry. Cool. Bam, bam, brother. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. I completely hallucinated something there. Could be me being tired. So, again, we need a shop. Because we need to sell some stuff. Because we need 251 gold. Or credits, whatever they're called. Uh, let's have a look around here. Cantina we were in. Was there a shop in the cantina? I don't think there was. Registration circle office is right there. Oh, it's right next to the honey lounge. Okay, cool. Jolie, may I have a moment? Fucking hell. There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. I know you have issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Jolie. You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side... They don't mean the same to me as... Backside. I don't see in absolutes. Absolute power! Malak and the Sith are evil, Jolie. Surely you can see that. You don't have a problem with Malak and the Sith. Of course, Malak isn't evil. He's just misunderstood like me. I want to stop Malak as much as anyone. But I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth or Kandorus. They're with us in this quest. But they are Jedi. Yeah, that's us. Capacity for good or evil, especially like the Force Karth. itself, is in all living creatures, and belonging to the Jedi Order or the Sith or any group won't change what you are at your core. I see you are quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn, but I appreciate the effort. But from now on, you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. Like all of us. Cool. Alright, well anyway, if you people could shut up, because I really need to take a piss, so I'm trying to get this done before I end the stream, so that I can go, you know, it takes a piss. HK-47, humorous killing bot to the 47th power? Maybe, I don't know. It could be an AK-47, like, riff. I don't know what the H would stand for. I'm sure there's an explanation of it at some point, or somewhere, or something. So we are still not where we need to be. Holy crap, this area is massive. Good lord. Registration. Do we need to do that right now? Probably not. Uh, it is... Good god, it's still further this way. Holy crap. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Alright, cool. It is here. Have I looted this? I think I did. Yeah, apparently I did and then I never went in this building. Alright, so let's see if we can get this, uh, this registration done so we can go murder some fools. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder a whole village. And don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know when I'm not wanted. Stop your shouting, fool. What's this about? I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they will even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate invasion, and that's what happens when they own everything. Not accountable. Well, no accountability, buddy. Don't even bother bringing it up. That makes you accountability buddyable. Hello. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. I would like I'm afraid all regular a permit to kill people. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Fuck! But I wanna... I, this is why I'm here! As I said, we are no longer selling them. 
There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. God damn you. Is there no other way? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. It's similar to Who's hunting. kneecap showing me to break? are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Welcome back, Nikki. So how was the game? Why do I pay for the sticks and all the heads? Which would you rather have dumped on your office floor? Touché. Besides, they're ceremonial weapons. Yeah, you got a point. Warrior. It's just as good. I will do this. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Well, maybe I will. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. I bet it does. It was good. You exhausted yourself with the workout. It felt amazing. You are the fittest person I know. I tried to do sit-ups the other day, and man, that hurt my ribs. All right. Yes, what is it? If this is about mining or sand people, you go to the Zerka office or just manage the storehouse. What do you have available for purchase? I was just standing at Zerka. Provisions and supplies not enough to keep the locals happy. Have a look. So you got a bunch of junks like everybody else. Son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, nothing special from what I can see. Shove it up your ass. All right, what else? Bounties. My fair, you want to hunt for Zerka Corporation? Talk to the protocol officer. I need the thing, don't I? Uh, anything out of the ordinary? Is that a quiet way of referring to Taurus going down? You don't want my views on that. Okay, what about local events? Don't care about them. I stay in the Zerka compound. We could be on a pleasure world for all I care or no. Pleasure world, eh? I would like to visit some such place. Uh, you have to push yourself. You'll be able to do it after trying a few times. I felt like my ribs were going to break. Sell something to him. Oh, yeah, that's right. He does sell stuff. Good point. I forgot we need a shop. This one. Sell list. All right, what are we selling? What are you buying? What are you selling? Uh, we probably... Okay, let's think. Uh, we got a lot of light saves. What do they sell for? Quite a bit. Do we need... Okay. Before I sell them, do we need all these lightsabers? Surely I do not, right? Surely this is just, like, crap to sell. Surely one lightsaber is basically just exactly like another. You know, like, surely these two are exactly the same other than the color. And we have crystals. So, my pleasure well, Jason, he means more one of those high-class resorts. Oh, I thought he meant, you know, like, a massage and a happy ending, that kind of pleasure well. Gaffy sticks are the traditional tool of Tuscan... They can pierce, stab, and smash. All are unique. Each Tuscan makes their own, and all are the most important possessions one of them have. Interesting. Well, anyway, can we sell the lightsabers that we don't need? The lightsabers that are just spares, can we sell them? Because if we can, then we can just get rid of them and get a bunch of money. Why would you need a ton of lightsabers? Just keep one and sell the rest. Okay, that's what I thought. I don't know, I'm just checking. You never know with games like this. Might be like, oh, there's a dude later in the game that uh, you can trade lightsabers for, uh, you know, uh, handies outside the back of the bike shed. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to keep the purple one. You can sell them. Just keep enough for yourself, Bastard and Julie. Okay. Uh, we'll keep the double-ended the yellow one. We'll get rid of the... Oh, hang on. Yeah, I know. I know what it's worth. Sell it, God damn it. Sell it. Keep a blue one. Lovely. Okay, no, we should keep, yes, we'll keep, we'll keep all of those. we got plenty of money to get the droid now. Let's go get it. Now, trophies. True, true. But there's nothing unique about them, so, you know. Don't you believe a word that the Zerka Corporation said in there? There is always a peaceful solution to conflict. They are just lazy. Is this about the Zerka one, the sand people chieftain killed? So you are the killer that they hired, just going to walk out there and wipe them out. That's the plan. I expect no less from fools. The sand people aren't animals. I've watched them. They are intelligent. 
They may be a, there may be a way to peacefully stop the attacks, I know it, but no will try, of course, you can't even leave the city without Zerka approval and they want the sand people dead. Why would you know any better? Perhaps I'm no expert on diplomatic situations, but I know when there is a lack of due care for the environment and the residents of it. What would you have done to the sand people? It must have seemed like an invasion. There were no negotiation, negotiations, territory or something. I don't think the killing has been justified, but a conversationalist, I'm hoping someone at least tries to talk out of this. Hmm... Or talk, talk this out. I was thinking that didn't make any sense when I said that. Uh, what would you suggest? Why isn't anyone trying to do We'll do with the matter as I see fit. Yeah, we'll do with it as I see fit. Get out of the goddamn way. That's what the infuriating Zerka protocol office said, but I'm not foolish enough to believe it. Everyone just wants to wipe the sand people out. Go on then, but you're just like the Zerkas. Short side four, if you can just talk to them, maybe get a true translation for it. I'm wasting my time. Go on, get out of here, you little scamp. Alright, you don't understand, sir. I'm called Darth Sito. I am a bad guy. Look at me. Just just bloody look at me, all right? We're almost full dark side. Our face is messed up. We're wielding two red lightsabers. Like, yes. what more do you need to know? Okay? Like, it's very clear that I am not a good man. Very clear. Anyway, where are we going? Uh, back to the droid shop, which is all the way over there. All the grab. Grab that HK voice and ask what we're doing. Then we're going to end the stream because I have been needing to take a whiz for like half an hour now. We have been going a little over two hours. I don't think I can really last much longer because, as you can tell, I am very, very tired. Like, I can barely speak, to be perfectly honest with you. I can barely string a sentence together. Not that that's much different from normal, but you get the idea. Like, it's it's becoming taxing to speak at this point because I'm so frigging tired, so... Probably should just end the stream while I'm ahead, right? You know, I got two hours out of it. I don't think it turned out terrible. Did have a bit of a massive rant at the start with there, which I'm sure will piss off some people, but uh, frankly, I don't care. Like, you know, you want to get pissed off by that? You get pissed off by that. I have my opinions, and people are going to like them or love them. I don't give a shit. All right, so we're going to buy you, so we need to go to this weirdo. Hello, you hunchback fuck. Uh, what's the price? 2500 I'll take it. Of course you will. It's practically robbery. Yeah, since you threatened me to get the deal, I'll let you pass just so you leave. I'll deactivate the restraining bolt on the droid when you tell it he sold after that. Get out. Even if it lied about speaking to Sam. A Sam people dialect, I'm still getting a horrible deal. So you can use this guy quite clearly to um, talk to the sand people so you don't have to kill them. I mean, obviously we're going to kill them anyway. Statement. I see you have purchased me, master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. My me too. My bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Hell, yes you shall. What do you mean kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. I like you. You can stay. Travel with me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. We have an evil robot friend. Hooray. We're going to get rid of you. Where's the evil robot friend? We're going to add you. Yeah, he's dark side. Cool. Is he the only dark side guy we have? Isn't Candorus? Yeah, Candorus is dark side as well. All the rest of the list. A lot of light side, isn't there? All right, fantastic. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. All right. That's going to do it for today's stream. Thank you for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it, despite me being incredibly tired. I hope it was still okay. I'm going to go... I'm not going to go sleep now. Honestly, I'm going to go play Rainbow Six. I would stream it, but no one watches it when I play Rainbow Six on stream anyway, so I'm just going to play off stream, and then I don't have to talk. You know, it's kind of a win-win situation. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you the day after tomorrow, because I have work tomorrow. Good night, everybody, and good bye. Alrighty, thank you everybody for watching, and especially thank you to this month's $10 plus tier patrons who are as follows Don Lobo, KB, RB Jiggered, Miss Justice83, Joey, Billy Nying, Waffle Ball, Dr. Pepper Penguin, Nuria Age, Bad Beauty, Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And of course, thank you to this month's Twitch subscribers, as well as the $5 plus tier patrons who should be on the screen at any moment, and everybody who has donated or become a patron in any of the tiers whatsoever. I'd love to list you all on screen, but good lord, 
we're running out of space, which ain't a bad thing. Thank you everybody for the support. I could not do this without you. You guys are awesome. I really, really, truly do appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron yourself, you can do so over at patreon.com slash LP. Thank you once again, everyone, and good night.